Hi, I'm Peter and I'm the Kitchen Gamer. Today, we're going to be delving into the fantasy realm of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim to venture forth and bake the fabled apple pie. So, grab your sword and join me on this adventure. To start the adventure, we put flour and cold butter in a bowl and combine using a pastry blender or food processor to blend them together until they look like large breadcrumbs. Then we grab some iced water and add a tablespoon at a time and either using your pastry blender, food processor or spoon to just combine it. Just don't over combine it. On a clean surface, slightly knead your pastry into a thick disc and the pastry should have a speckled look as those are bits of butter. Use some glad wrap, otherwise known as cling foil, wrap it up and then put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. While the pastry is in the fridge, preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit, fan bake. In a new bowl, add sugar, mixed spice, cinnamon, flour, and a pinch of nutmeg. Then we mix it together until it has a light brown look. In another large bowl, add your sliced apples and mixed spices. Then we coat the apples with this mixture. On a floured surface, get your dough and divide it into two pieces, saving around a quarter of the dough for later use. Then with a floured rolling pin, you can hit the dough out a bit. Then roll it into a large round base, which will have about a few mil thickness. If you're worried about the dough sticking, lift it up and slightly dust the underside with flour. With your rolling pin, roll the pastry onto it and then carefully drop the pastry into the pie dish. Having done this, put your apples in the pie, trim the edges and put the pie to one side. With the remaining dough, repeat the same process as before. Then you'll cut them into even strips using a knife or pizza cutter. With a brush, we return to the pie and wet the pie's edge so the lattices will stick to it. We then start putting several strips vertically on the pie. We then fold back alternating lattices and place a strip over the ones that aren't folded. We then fold the lattices which are folded over the newly placed strip and we continue doing this until the whole top of the pie looks like a weaved basket. With the pie now covered, we go around the edges and press a fork to have the cool design around it. Then cut the edges of the lattices off. Also, don't forget an egg wash like I forgot to do until later. Now we place it in the oven and bake for 45 minutes. Having finished baking, we let it sit for 4 hours as this will allow it to set. Let's jump into Skyrim to learn more about this pie. If you're looking to find this pie, just go to Bolgraf the Greatest Bedroom in Dragonreach, Whiterun, and you'll find the pie which he's saving for later. This isn't the only place to find it, but I'm leaving that up to you. On the other hand, if you don't like hunting down this apple goodness, then you can make it in an oven, which I'm sadly not near as I'm currently hunting pie. The four hours of pie hunting have passed, now it's time to cut into it and enjoy it. Don't forget to reheat it again if you like. You've made it through this challenging adventure, so don't forget to open your journal and check out the previous quests from the kitchen. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and interact with that subscribe button to get a courier notification of the new video when it's sent out. So. Until next time, enjoy the kitchen.